Burning Godzilla. One of the most iconic looks for the monster. Caused by his own power, melting his body from the inside out. Unlike what some people think, Burning Godzilla's demise wasn't from gaining too much energy. So how did it happen? After Space Godzilla's defeat, Godzilla went back to Baz Island to live there with his son, living there peacefully until the island was suddenly engulfed in an explosion of nuclear fission, only leaving the smoldering remains of what used to be Baz Island. The eruption of fission mutated his son, drastically changing his appearance and making him much more aggressive. But instead of strengthening Godzilla, the sudden burst of fission made his internal system malfunction. This malfunction affected his internal regulator, supplied by water and oxygen, causing steam to seep out from his pores. To correct this, Godzilla went after a nuclear power plant to regulate his fission by gaining more power. Not wanting to spend billions of dollars on repairs, G-Force sent out the Super X-3, designed to withstand the heat and energy of a nuclear meltdown. With the Super X-3's cadmium and freezing weapons, they were able to level out Godzilla's fission, causing Godzilla to no longer need an excess amount of power of that which a nuclear power plant could provide. As time went on, despite his fission being regulated, the damage was done. With his reactor breaking apart, instead of the predicted explosion, his demise would melt the Earth down to its core. Now with Destroy's sudden appearance, the military decided to lead him to fight Godzilla, hoping his oxygen destroyer power could stop the meltdown. While Destroyer was successful multiple times in draining Godzilla's power, even to the point of him losing his red color, this only made Godzilla's condition worse, causing him to lose the little control he had over his nuclear pulse and atomic breath. The further breaking of Godzilla's internal reactor melted off his dorsal plates, releasing a raging nuclear fire from his back. This also caused each blast of atomic breath to be directly from his core energy. After the defeat of Destroyer at the hands of Godzilla and the military, Godzilla went into meltdown, but either due to Destroyer draining his power, or the freezer weapons of the Mazers and Super X-3, the Earth was not destroyed. Instead, Godzilla slowly and painfully melted, with him still being alive while most of his body was melting around him, thus ending Godzilla and the Heisei Godzilla series. So how did Godzilla die? Well, just to summarize, it was not the excess of power that caused his demise, but it was his body malfunctioning and not cooling off his internal reactor properly thus allowing a huge spike of fission in his body. After the military corrected his fission levels, the damage had already been done, with his reactor splitting apart, shooting more energy out with each atomic breath, eventually melting him alive. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later.